guys welcome back okay so today i'm going to be doing a full face using all of my latest shop my stash products i've been using them for the last couple of weeks and for the most part i'm really feeling all this stuff that i chose so i'm happy about that but i'm gonna use it one last time give you my thoughts and i'm going to do another shop my stash because i'm ready to switch things up a bit but today i have a new palette that i'm going to be playing in so i'm so excited about it so just fyi this video might be long because this sample beauty palette this is the prodigy palette jewel toned edition 21 shade premium eyeshadow palette okay this is what it looks like i can't say i'm all that you know hyped about the packaging i mean it's cute or whatever it kind of has like that little jewel tone you know i don't know it's like black and silver but it gives you that holographic feel to it now on the back there is some information as well as ingredients it's a 24 month shelf life it is vegan and cruelty free okay so yeah you got some information here on the back but the fact that it says that it is the jewel toned edition i'm thinking that we might get some more um in a series of palettes so that's cool but let me show you what it looks like there is a mirror in here for you lucky gals who like a mirror and these are all of the colors so as you can see it's a really pretty bright colorful palette but it does get a little dark a little rich which i like that there are some beautiful shimmers looks like dual chromes in here very very pretty okay so yeah let me just see here what it says on the back while you guys you guys can look at it while i'm reading <laughs> it says the prodigy palette is a 21 shade premium eyeshadow palette uh, the Jewel Tone Edition contains an array of Jewel Tone shades, including silky mattes and perfectly foiled shimmers with our all-new premium prodigious formulation. Okay, <laughs> so that's what it says on the back. Very, very pretty. But anyways, that's what I'm going to be playing with today. So just to go ahead and get started with a little hydration on my face, I'm going in with my Kate Somerville. This is the Bio Mimicking Peptide Serum. I want to go ahead and put some of this on, let it soak in while I'm doing my brows, because y'all see I ain't got no brows yet. But this is what this looks like. And just, um, to me, it's not... You know, I haven't felt like it's done anything miraculous to my face since I've been using it for the past couple of weeks. Um, it just feels like any other serum to me. So, you know, I don't have anything special really to comment about it. Maybe if I use it a while longer, I will see a difference in my skin. But just over the past couple of weeks, it just feels like any other serum to me it is nice though and it does soak into my skin easily and quickly so i do like that about it so it says that this serum is supposed to help smooth and firm i feel like i need to use this whole bottle <laughs> to really know whether or not it's doing that so but just you know from my experience of using it over the last couple of weeks it's a nice serum not bad at all now I'm also going in with some of my e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. I already know I love this stuff, you guys. It is very, very creamy. It has a nice, gentle scent to it, and you really don't need a lot. I always use too much <laughs> because when I start rubbing it in, I'm like, okay, you didn't need that much. But it just feels so good. It's really nice and thick, and it does absorb into your skin very easily very nicely at least for me it does and it leaves my skin feeling nicely moisturized all day okay so this is what my skin is looking like after adding the moisturizer it feels really really nice you guys i love that as far as elf skincare goes i really really like that you know this hello hydration line it's just it's so clean and simple and nice. It smells light. It's not heavy. I really like it. So if you're looking for some decent skincare at a reasonable price, um, for me, my skin type, I used to be oily, 
but now I'm leaning more towards like normal, even sometimes borderline dry, you know, with my increase in age. But yeah, I really, really like this stuff, you guys. I would definitely suggest trying this one out if you haven't tried any, or maybe there's some that you don't like. Try out the Hello Hydration, because I really do like this moisturizer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some brows. I have been using my LA Girl Shady Slim Pencil for quite a while now. I think I'm gonna go back to using my e.l.f. lock-on liner and brow pomade. And I think I use the color Espresso, if I'm not mistaken. If that's not it, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, I think it's Espresso. So I'm gonna draw on some brows right quick and then we will jump into this palette. Okay guys, so we got some brows, ow. <laughs> now I did choose this Profusion No Budge Eyeshadow Primer and I have been using this. I've kind of been mixing in some other things, the e.l.f. one along with this Profusion one, but I find that I actually like the Profusion as well. It's not bad, it's not like my absolute favorite, you know, go-to, but it's definitely, a good eyeshadow primer it works just fine I've used it several times the way I like to do it is I like to just put it on my hand and use a brush to apply it to my eyelid that's just like the easiest way for me okay guys so let's go ahead and do some quick swatches of this palette so that you can see how it swatches on my skin tone guys so these are all the swatches for this palette I can definitely tell from swatching it that these mattes are nicely pigmented even if they don't swatch the best I kind of feel like they're nicely pigmented which I'm happy about and the shimmers look really really pretty oh my gosh they look absolutely gorgeous like this purple here and this kind of like dual chrome and then you have this one here as well beautiful dual chrome this gold and this red type shade Very okay you guys so as usual I have no idea what I want to do today so let's just jump right in <laughs> okay so I think I'm gonna start out with this shade here this dark blue shade and I'm just gonna work that into my crease and create the shape that I want for this eye look Okay, pigment. Okay, hello. Okay, I think I wanna go into this shade here. And I just wanna tap a bit of that on the edge of that blue shade. Okay, so pigmentation for that shade is nice as well. Very, very pretty, okay. Now I think, hmm, I'm gonna go into this shade here so that I can just kind of blend out the edge of that shade and make it, you know, gradiate up into my brow area.
Okay guys, so I am pretty happy with the pigmentation. That lighter shade nicely blended out that deeper plum type shade. I wanna do a cut crease. Mm, I wanna do like a halo type cut crease, but a really big one. So I'm gonna use my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and let's just pray that it comes out neat because I don't usually go this high, but I'm gonna go pretty high today. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, I did a really high cut crease. You can see where my natural crease is. It's like, because I have, you know, a bit of a hooded eye, my natural crease is not that high and I just wanted to try something different today. So we went up real high. Um, and of course it has like that little kind of light blue tint to it because I had all that shadow. Don't put that much shadow on your lid, y'all. Okay, especially if you don't cut your crease. I should have cleaned it off, but I feel like it. Okay, so I want to, I think I want to take a little bit of this matte purple shade and tap a little bit of that on the edge of the halo. Y'all, I kind of like that bold <laughs> blue color that's in the center, but I do want to try one of these shimmers. So, so I'm gonna go in with this shimmer here. Really, really pretty. And I'm going to just tap that in the center. Okay, that brightened that up <laughs> quite a bit. Very pretty, it added like that dimension of sheen to it. Let me just put a little bit with my finger, see if that adds any more. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yes, it did. I like that, that's pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up, do some eyeliner, and then we can move on to the face. Okay, you guys, so I'm using my Tarte Base Tape Face Primer. Um, today, I really like this stuff. I do, I really, really like this stuff. It's like um, very moisturizing, very hydrating. So if you like a hydrating primer, then I think you would like this. Going in with my NYX HD Concealer just to work on these dark circles a bit. Get that mustache. And I really only use this concealer for my hyperpigmentation and dark circles because it works really well for me to cover them up. Coverage is amazing as you can see and it's a great shade for my skin tone. For foundation I'm going to use my ABH foundation. This one is the Luminous foundation and I was kind of like confused at first because I was like that does not look luminous to me but it's like sometimes I confuse luminous and dewy so it's not a dewy foundation but it does leave my face looking luminous if that makes sense it gives it a glow but it's not dewy it doesn't look wet For concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. This is the Camo, yeah, Hydrating Camo Concealer.
Okay, you guys, so the loose powder that I chose for under my eyes and my highlighting areas is the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter <laughs> Loose Powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I really like this powder. It is a very nice powder. Um, it's hard for me to really fall in love with a loose powder right now because, honey, my heart belongs to the Becca Hydra Mist and I don't see that changing anytime soon. That powder is just so bomb, okay? That <laughs> any powder that I use, any loose powder that I use, I'm definitely comparing it to that. So, honey, if it's not as fine and blurring as that Becca Hydra Mist powder, then it's just okay. <laughs> it's just okay. And this powder, I feel like if I was to purchase it again, I would definitely get a lighter shade because of the fact that I use it, you know, in the areas where I highlight with concealer and that I want brightened. This powder is really more like a skin tone shade for me. It doesn't brighten as much as I want. But if I was using it as like an overall face powder, it's perfect for the rest of my face i'm going in with my Too faced multi-use uh powder <laughs> now for bronzer i'm going to go in with one of the new revolution glow bronzers i have the shade dark i have been using this and i do like it a lot so i just have to work on not using so much <laughs> it's just so yeah you see that oh that color is so nice This really is an excellent bronzer, you guys. You do not have to break the bank for a decent bronzer. I love my Morphe Glamour Bronze. This bronzer is really nice. I actually have another bronzer from Morphe that I really like. I'll have to use it in one of my Shop My Stashes. But the Milani Earth Glow Powder, there's so many different bronzers that you can try out for you know, women of color, darker skin tones, and they work out nicely. So I'm really excited that Revolution came out with these. Okay, honey, because they are nice bronzers. Now I did pull my BH Cosmetics Marshmallow Truffle Blush palette to use during this Shop My Stash. And I have used this a few times over the past couple of weeks. Bomb, okay? Really, really nice. The first time I used it, I went in with the highlighter shade first so I wasn't really feeling that because I like to do my highlighter after my blush but it still gave me a nice beautiful glow I really like this blush palette just in case you're curious it is nicely pigmented but today we going in with the Alamar okay <laughs> because I have this bold eye look and I need a bold blush okay so I'm going in with this center blush shade right here and this is their dark rich blush palette from Alamar Cosmetics I actually think I'm gonna mix these two together, these last two. Y'all see that pigmentation on that blush? Oh, I wanted to use this color so that I can kind of bring out that plum shade that's in my eye look a little bit. So that's why I went with this more deep blush color. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out with my powder. But y'all know I love me some blush, okay? Now for blush and highlight, I also picked out my Natasha Denona Diamond Blush Palette. And this one is, which one is this? 
uh, it's the peachy one I can't think of the name of it right now but it's the peachy one I have not used this yet you guys this palette is so gorgeous sorry about the glare but I'm gonna save this for my next shot my stash because I haven't used it yet and today I kind of want to go in with this Marc Jacobs highlighter that my girl Lily got me this highlighter is so I'm going to use this because I did pick this for my shot mustache as well. And we'll deal with the Natasha palette on the next run. This highlighter is so big, you guys. Look at how big it is. It's so pretty. And the mirror is the full size of the whole compact. So very nice. Okay, you guys, let's get back to these eyes. Ugh, this is a bold look. I'm definitely gonna have to put on lashes today. There's no getting around it. Okay, so I wanna line my eyes with kind of like a brighter, bolder type teal shade. And this is one of my Scandal Eyes from Rimmel. Now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into that same dark blue shade and just kind of smoke out the inner and outer portions of my lower lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into this purple shade here and just put that in the center of my lower lash line. And for a little bit of a pop, I'm gonna go back into that same bright shade that we placed in the halo portion of the eye and just kind of pop that in my inner corner. And since this is more of like a topper type shade, I'm hoping <laughs> that I can get it to show up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this eye look has gotten totally out of control, you guys. Totally out of control. And I'm loving it. <laughs> okay, so let me pop on some lashes and figure out a lip. Okay, you guys, so I did pop on some lashes. Don't come for me if they're crooked, okay? But I went ahead and added some of my LA Girl Volumatic Mascara to my lower lashes and a little bit on my upper lashes. And I don't remember what setting spray I chose, you guys. <laughs> and since I'm not gonna go back and watch my video, I don't remember yeah, I don't remember what setting spray I chose for my shot mustache. So I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Finny Matte. I really like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And this stuff smells like tequila, you guys. <laughs> Straight up tequila. Okay, you guys, and for lips, I'm going in with my ColourPop and Ellery Lip Liner, and I'm going to use one of my NARS liquid lipsticks. I got this out of a monthly subscription box, not sure which one. I'll put the name on the screen, but it's like a really vampy, plummy shade. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for today using all of my Shop My Stash items on my face <laughs> along with this NARS lipstick. And this is the eye look. I'll let you guys get into this for a minute. 
let me know if you like it okay so i think you can probably guess first impressions on this sample beauty prodigy palette i like it i do i think what i like the most about it is the pigmentation you guys know i am a color fiend and i love me some rich deep pigmentation and that's what i got from this palette today so i'm happy about it i even really enjoyed using that really pretty like dual chrome shimmery type shade um you know popping that in that halo eye and in that inner corner i think it worked out really really well so First impression on this palette, I like it. Of course, I'm gonna play with this some more and see what's popping. I'm sorry if you came looking for an everyday neutral natural look, <laughs> cause your girl don't do those. <laughs> but anyways, I love this palette. So, and I'm feeling all of my Shop My Stash stuff. I'm feeling all of it, okay? So anyways, that was my recap for my Shop My Stash included in this video. So I won't be doing a recap video for that. I will be doing another Shop My Stash. That's just me shopping next, okay? So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know this is gonna be a long video, but honey, I had fun, okay? <laughs> And don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!